Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, one of my favorite pastimes with my parents growing up was playing pool. We always had a pool table around, so we played a lot together. We really enjoyed playing together, and never, I never got that good, but I did learn some crucial things about playing pool. And one of those things was we always tried to plan ahead. You know, try to leave a good lead, if you will, to the next shot. And so that's important to try to make one shot then lead to another and hopefully try to run the table to win the game, whatever game it is you were playing. And so, and that's a core principle we use in life, right? You try to have a good plan about life and you execute the plan to the best of your ability. And, um, and so we do our best as humans, but we're finite. But you see, God, and God is eternal. God is all-knowing. God is all-powerful. He's everywhere present. And so when God has a plan, he executes it perfectly to his glory and to the good of those who trust him. And we see a great example of that over in the book of Exodus. As Israel is exiting Egypt, God is doing his plan perfectly. Uh, you see, as Israel is leaving Egypt, God is providing for them. Uh, he actually told the Israelites to ask the Egyptians for things like uh, jewelry, silver, and gold, and clothes uh, as they left. And they did, and, and the Egyptians uh, just gave them jewelry, gold, silver, and clothes. And they were glad to give them to the Israelites, hopefully probably trying to appease the God of Israel. And this fulfilled the prophecy back in Genesis 15, verses 13 and 14, that God spoke to Abraham hundreds of years earlier. Also, we see another thing being fulfilled, and that is they take Joseph's bones with them as they leave. And Joseph made his brothers promise to take his bones with them as they go, and they are doing that. Kind of cool to see that. But the gold and silver they take with them will be used to fulfill many useful functions later on. We'll see those unfold as the Israel is living in the wilderness after they exit Egypt. And then as they're leaving Egypt, God's also providing them with a guidance. He gives them a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to lead them out of Egypt. And he's directing them exactly where he wants them to go. And he actually has them on purpose in camp by the sea. And he lets Moses know he's going to use this for his glory because as Israel's encamped by the sea, Pharaoh's heart once again becomes hardened. And he pursues the Israelites. And the Egyptians come upon the Israelites and they're trapped between the Egyptians and the sea. The Israelites cry out, but Moses says, don't worry, God's got a plan. Just trust him. And of course, it's then that we see one of the greatest miracles in all of biblical history, the parting of the Red Sea, a supernatural event if there ever was one. It says there's like part, they actually uh, went through the Red Sea on dry ground. Not wet ground, not muddy ground, dry ground. And there was a, a, a wall of water on the right and a wall of water on the left. Man, what did that look like? And the Israelites crossed safely through those two different walls to the other side. And of course, later on, the Egyptians followed when God allowed that to happen. They followed in, and, um, but they couldn't catch up. And then the Bible says that God uh, had Moses to uh, let the waters return down, and the waters crashed down on the Egyptians, killing the Egyptian army in the Red Sea. And there, God gained glory for himself through the destruction of the Egyptian army, just as he had planned to do, saving his people. And of course, the people gave a great celebration and a poetic celebration of that great event in Exodus 15, describing uh, in a poetic way the real event that took place back in the chapter before. But we can learn so much from that, but at least one major thing is God is in control. He's got a perfect plan, and we can trust what he is doing. If we can't fully understand all the intricacies and how it's unfolding, we know He's got a plan, and he's executing it to his glory and for our good. Let that give us hope as we trust our all-powerful, all-knowing God. You guys have a wonderful night, and I'll try to make this last shot. Ah, oh, so close. You guys have a good night. See you later.